Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm going to show you this rich and lovely dragonfly garden card that we created during our Make and Share It on stage. It uses our dragonfly garden bundle that you will find in the January, June mini catalog. And of course, if you don't have a catalog and would like one, you can always email me your name, address, and phone number, and I'll be happy to send you one. So let me set these aside and we'll get started. I'm going to start with the stamping on this card, and this time I'm going to do this in the landscape format. I am going to use my Year and Inspiration image here, making sure that I don't have any ink on that outer line. I can use my finger to remove that. If you're a newer stamper, we tend to rock our images, and removing that outer edge of ink will help you. The next thing I'm going to do is bring in this lovely wildflower image and I'm going to ink that up in the Mossy Meadow and stamp that right here in the center of my panel. There we go. And of course, while I have my ink pad out, I can bring in my center panel here with my sentiment option, and I can add a little color to that. I'm going to add this down in the left-hand corner and simply stamp another little grouping of flowers there. So I've got a beautifully decorated center. And of course you can do the same thing with your envelope. Moving on to the assembly of the card, I'm going to take my smoky slate panel that I've stamped, and then I'm going to start adhering my designer series papers to the upper right hand corner first. And I'm doing about a typical margin around this. And then I'm going to add this beautiful dragonfly panel with all its colors. And I'm going to add that, oh, about halfway down. And let's see, about a half an inch over. And then my final panel will be this wonderful Blackberry Bliss with the little blossoms on it. And I am going to set that. I want a little bit of my... Blackberry Bliss panel to show here, and I want it um, to cover up about half again, making sure my margin is straight, and I'm going to adhere that down. Now I'm going to show you a faux bow. I'm going to take this Mossy Meadow Linen Trim and snip off about six inches of it, and then I'm going to tie another section into a bow. Now I typically use eight to 10 inches to tie a bow if I am cutting it. If you're new to stamping, a little longer is always better. Um, I do like to tie on the bolt, that's my preference, but you can cut this first if you prefer and find it easier. I'm gonna snip those two ends so that it's nice and neat, and then I can start assembling. Now the trick with the faux bow is to just add a little bit of adhesive onto the back where you're going to put that ribbon. You don't have to be overly particular um, and that adhesive won't go to waste because you'll also be using it on the card front when you adhere it down. If you're using the Stampin' Seal, you can just flip over those little pieces that show onto the back again with no problem. Now, as you can see, I've got this a little crooked and the great thing about this method of adding your ribbon is that you can take that off of that adhesive and adjust. Now that I'm happy, I can bring in my card base. Don't you love Blackberry Bliss? It's so rich. And I can add some adhesive to the back here. You can go over the ribbon if you would like, but that adhesive will hold it in place. And I'm going to add that to my card front, making sure it's in the right direction. And then I've got my bow that I'm ready for. And I'm going to bring my glue dot in here, add a little bit to the back, and you can put that paper over the top of it if you're worried about getting it on your finger, and then just lift it up and adhere it right in place. And I'm going to put it there at a little angle. There we go. And now for my last little bit, I'm going to add some dragonflies here. I'm going to bring in my punch, and I'm simply going to punch three of these little dragonflies. Let's see. Need another piece. 
three. There we go. So I've got my three little dragonflies and I can put my punch away. These have a little bit of a curl to them when you punch them. So I'm going to flip that over so that curl works to my benefit and bring in my mini Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm gonna add one to the back of each of these little dragonflies. They'll fit right on there with no problem. And then I'm going to start adhering them to my card front. I'm gonna place one down here, one here in the center, and then I think I'll place one here on the top, all flying in the same direction. And of course, your center panel that you've already stamped, you can either adhere at this point or you can place it inside for when you get ready to send this card to somebody special. You'll find this bundle of products in our new 2021 January June mini catalog. And of course, if you would like a January June mini catalog and don't already have a local demonstrator, just email me, name, address, and phone number, and I'll be happy to mail you one. If you'd like any of these products, feel free to stop by my online store. You can get there from my blog, Stamp with Ginny. Thanks for joining me.